Hello, hello, we are here, we are live with Persona 3. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited for this game. There was like three main games I'm excited for this year, which is Persona 3 Reload. Um, Final Fantasy uh, Rebirth, so it's part two. And then Like a Dragon, the new one, Like a Dragon 8. But I can't play that one yet because I haven't beat all the Yakuza games. I mean, I could, but, you know, I'm not gonna. So anyway, this is like one of the one of my top games. But Suicide Squad honestly has blown my expectations. I really, really enjoy Suicide Squad too. So, I mean, we'll see. There's not too many games this year that I'm actually super excited for besides like those main three. So I guess we'll, we'll find out, but let's get into Persona. So I've played a little of, of Persona 3, uh, the PS2 version. FES. Yeah, I've played a little bit of Persona 3 FES. I didn't beat it. Um, and then I was playing some Persona 3 Portable as a female to just kind of, you know, see it from a different perspective. But I'm also not that far. But I've loved the Persona games. They're fantastic pieces of art. We need Persona 6 though, please. <laughs> That was cool. This song is cool. <laughs> so cool oh man i'm so excited oh i'm so excited for this game oh my god press any button i love the i love the silhouettes very persona 5-esque okay we do have subtitles on persona memory I don't know what that means, but sure. <clears throat> Let's go. <laughs> so, OG Persona 5. I played Merciless. God, it was so hard. Persona 5 Royal Merciless was super easy. So, we're going to give Merciless a shot. We're going to we're going to power through. <laughs> Time waits for no one. All are equal in its flow, all lives born to their ends. You who would protect the glimmer of the finite future, who have a single year, go forth and live in the time given to you. Even in these Halkian days of 
repose. Let your heart guide you and never stray from its path. If I ever pronounce half those words correct, but let's go. I wonder if this is more modern now. Just put it to my head. And then pull the trigger. Come on. Oh, there's no way I can't. <laughs> Your attention, please. Today's train schedule will be modified due to a rail switching mountain. We apologize for any inconvenience. The next stop is Iwatodai. <laughs> Iwatoda. Iwatoda. This is the final train bound for Tatsumi Port Island. Please board before the scheduled departure time. Tatsumi Port Island. Now it's really dead. <laughs> to be honest, I can't really tell what that is. Oh yeah, that's right. Green, green demon eyes, because it's green. Yay, me. But um Is that like an uh, MP3 player or like a bullet? I can't freaking tell what that is. I arrived so late, so I'd better hurry up. You a toad eyed worm. That's where I'll be staying from now on. It should be just up ahead. Oh, do we get a walk? Oh, oh my god. Look at the blood. Would that not be concerning? Okay, at last. Because I wouldn't be concerned about blood. Better keep my distance. Looks a little dangerous. Where am I going? Strip mall! Oh, we got the caskets! Is this a coffin? You say that with all of them? I wonder what's in these things. What's this doing here? This book this used bookstore is closed. There are several objects that look like coffins inside the store. These things are everywhere. Iwa told I dorm. I guess this is it. Freaking gorgeous! Even though I'm a freaking demon! <laughs> Welcome. You're oh. late. I've been waiting a long time. He sounds familiar. Sounds like the old one, but he's probably not. If you wish to proceed, sign your name here. It's a contract. There's no need to be scared. All it says is that you accept full responsibility for your actions. I do. For as much as I can, I guess. <laughs> oh, so cool. I don't know what I had for his last name. 
Uh, let me look at it. Because I just, I just used the official. Let me see what his name was. I'm not creative, I'm sorry. Makoto Yuki. I know, I remember Makoto. Did I spell that correctly? Absolutely. Good. Time is something no one can escape. It delivers us all to the same end. You can't plug your ears or cover your eyes. So I want to. <laughs> and so, it begins. I don't remember that happening, but okay. Who's there? How are you here at this hour? Don't tell me. Wait! <laughs> huh? The lights! I didn't think you'd arrive so late. My name is Mitsuru Kirijo. I'm one of the students who live in the storm. Who's he? He's a transfer student. It was a last-minute decision to assign him here. He'll eventually be moved to a room in the boys' dorm. Is it okay for him to be here? Why not? <laughs> I guess we'll see. This is Yukari Takeba. She'll be a second year this spring, just like you. It looks so gorgeous. Call me Takeba. <laughs> Why do you have a gun? Nice to meet you. Uh, yeah. Nice to meet you, too. It's getting late. You'll find your room at the end of the hall on the second floor. Your things should already be there. Why don't you get some rest? Well, yes, ma'am. Follow me. Pretty easy to remember, huh? Since it's all the way at the end here. Um, do you have any questions? What's that contract for? Huh? Contract? What are you talking about? Yukari doesn't seem to know what I'm talking about. Uh, can I ask you something? On your way here from the station, was everything okay? What do you mean? You don't know? I guess that means you're fine. Well, okay. Don't worry about it then. <laughs> I'd better get going. Um, I'm sure you still have questions, but let's save them for later. Okay? Good night. Yes, ma'am. Oh, look at our little room. I love it. Life in the dorm starts today. The room came pre-furnished and everything. I'm spent. I, sh I should put my things in the closet and get to bed early. Oh, that's cool. Ah. When you save your game, it also saves a little bit of your past. You can go back to that time by opening the menu and going to the system and selecting Rewind. Interesting. 
Interesting. I don't really know what that means, if I'm going to be completely honest. Oh, look at our little fridge. It's the fridge. There's nothing in particular that, that I want to chill right now. Oh, we can chill stuff. My reflection looks tired. I should put my stuff away and go to bed early. The desk is clean and organized. I should be able to focus while studying here. I better put my stuff away in the closet for now. There's nothing on the shelf yet. Look at our closet. Do I have all the DLC? Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> Go to bed. School starts tomorrow. I should go to sleep early so I'm ready for the first day of school. Seven. It's Takeba. Are you awake? Hey, you live far with the Good morning. Good morning. Did you sleep okay? I've been asked to show you the way to school. Are you ready to go? Yeah, I'm ready. Great, let's set out. <laughs> I can find my way myself. I don't need your help. And this is how we'll be getting to school every day. It's a monorail. Pretty cool, huh? I honestly love the ride here. It almost feels like we're flying over the ocean. Oh, by the way, our school's at the last stop on this line. It's called Tatsumi Port Island. Have you heard of it? The whole thing's man-made, and our school's smack dab in the middle. That's cool. Oh, look! There it is now! On separate island, huh? Morning! Well, here we are. Allow me to welcome you to Gekko Khan High School. I hope you like it. I will. You'll be okay on your own from here, right? Let's see. I guess you should go see your homeroom teacher first. The faculty office is over there on the left. They'll tell you more when you get there. Oh, well, that about does it. Any questions before I go? Oh, the music. Which class are you in? Me? I don't know. I haven't looked at the classroom assignments yet. Hey, about last night. Don't tell anyone what you saw, okay? See you! There's a crowd forming in front of the bulletin board. Maybe I'll take a peek before going to the faculty office. <laughs> wow, that's like super close. That's really cool though. I do like a little bit farther out though. What? I don't see my name. What should I do? What should I do? Oh great! I have the worst teacher ever. Hmm. Oh, there it is. Class F, huh? Homeroom teacher is what? Miss Toriyumi. I guess she is older than me. But I was hoping to be with Miss Kano. There's no need for them to post the names of the kids who are going to be in our class. I mean, we'll never see them again after we graduate, anyways. Class rosters are posted. My name is... I've got a small note off to the side. Class 2F, Makoto Yuki. Hmm? The name Yukari Takiba is also on the list. Seems that we'll be in the same class as her. Hell yeah! And our good friend Junpei! What? Cause, what are you doing? Why are you wearing a jersey? Uh, what do you mean, why? You've got practice after class, remember? But we've got to attend the opening ceremony and go to class before all that. Hurry and head into your classroom so you can change into your normal uniform. What? But I just... Okay, okay, fine. Just quit glaring at me. So where's the bulletin board with all the class assignments? 
It's literally right there, Cause. You're in class F. I'm in a different homeroom, so I can't keep an eye on you all the time. You got that? <laughs> Good grief. These kids don't know how to show respect for their elders. We're their teachers. We live longer than them. But Moriyama and her friends had to pull that on me at the very beginning of the term. Oh, she looks older than this. I don't remember her looking so young. I'm sorry to interrupt, but I need to get back to managing the shop. Even you're shooting me away? Some way to start the school year. I don't even think my nerves can take this. All right, all right. Want me to order more of those cream-filled breads you like so much? You could have just asked. <laughs> Faculty office? Uh, I think it's that way. Actually, I'm new here, so you should probably ask someone else. Now, listen closely. A true man should always carry the fiery soul of a samurai within them. Our school curriculum nurtures the samurai spirit within our students so that they contribute to society. Oh la la, how wonderful. I wish to set my soul on fire and learn the ways of the great samurai also. That's what I like to hear, my boy! Though you hail from a foreign land, the samurai spirit burns within you all the same. Ooh la la. Huh? The library? It's strange. I even made sure to check the map, but where am I? Oh, it's nice it actually tells you this time instead of being like, all right, good luck. I do want to check all this out, though. Look at all these people. This school's so much more alive. Ew. Got a home economics class. Can I really not go up here? Ain't gonna let me get lost. But I wanna get lost. <laughs> let me look around. This seems to be the faculty office. Should I go in? Yes. Oh, are you the new student? Mokoto, you hmm. You're a second year, correct? Wow, you've lived in a lot of different places. Let's see, 10 years ago, your parents... I'm sorry, uh, I've been so busy, I didn't have time to read this beforehand. I'm Ms. Toriyumi. I teach composition. Welcome to our school. <laughs> well, what's your first name? Nice to meet you. Wow, such enthusiasm. Have you seen the classroom assignments? You're in 2F. That's my class. But first, we need to go to the auditorium. The welcoming ceremony will be starting soon. Come on, I'll show you the way. That guy is like hunched over his laptop. <laughs> Absorb that information. And so, another new school year is upon us. I'd like each of you to remember the proverb. If a job's worth doing, it's worth doing well. When applied to student life, this means... The principal continues with his speech. Psst. Hey. You came to school with Takeba-san this morning, right? I saw you two walking together. You must be pretty close, huh? What's the deal between you and her? Oh. And, uh, does she have a boyfriend? <laughs> Nobody seems to know. She doesn't. Really? You asked her? Wow. I'm surprised. Wait. How close are you guys? <laughs> Who's that? Someone's talking. Yeah, sounds like it's coming from Miss Toriyumi's class. Hey, shh. Be quiet. You're gonna get me in trouble. Going. 
It's my man Junpei. What? Don't look at me like that. <laughs> and you are me. Call me Junpei. Junpei you. I transferred here when I was a second year in middle school. Pretty tough being the new kid at first, you know? So I just wanted to say, hey, see what a nice guy I am. Hey, it's Yo, it's Dennis. What's up, man? Didn't think we'd be in the same class again. <laughs> there you go again, acting like everybody's best friend. Try not to make him uncomfortable, okay? What? I was just being friendly. If you say so. <clears throat> anyway, who'd have thought we'd be in the same homeroom? I know. It must be fate. Ow! Oh. Anyway. Funny, huh? Just chilling. Chilling like a villain. Um, hello? Are you forgetting I'm in this class too? Anyway, I gotta ask. I heard you guys walk to school together. What's up with that? Come on. Get the dirt. Huh? What are you talking about? We just happen to live in the same dorm. Why do people always jump to conclusions? Have rumors been spreading about this already? Oh, I'm worried. <laughs> nah. Hey, you didn't tell anyone about you know what, did you? I didn't. Okay, good. Seriously. Don't say anything about last night, okay? Okay. <laughs> what? Last night? <laughs> Wait a minute. Don't get the wrong idea. Listen, I just met him yesterday, and there is absolutely nothing between us. Are you sure about that? Jeez. <laughs> I have to go now. There's something I need to take care of for the archery team. You better not start any more rumors. <laughs> She's so pissed. Ah, who cares? No one takes rumors seriously anyway. She's so paranoid. But hey, it's your first day here and people are already talking about it. Believe it or not, she's actually pretty popular. You're the man. That's right, I'm the man. Well, Here's to a fun school year, dude. Yeah. <laughs> you ready to head out? We can walk to the station again. Yo. Do we also take a look around the school while we're at it? I'll just follow you around if you want to leave head for the front entrance. Yeah, let's look at the school. Hello, club ditching student. Oh, you're a uh, transfer student. You gonna join a club or something? I'm planning to. Oh yeah? Won't be able to join right away though. I hear a lot of them are at max capacity. Well, just keep an eye out for an open slot. They might start recruiting again in late April. Hey, new kid, you have no idea how lucky you are. You're surrounded by cougar girls and 2F like Takibasan. Don't you feel completely lost whenever you transfer to a new school? This is the second floor and the one below has the faculty office, club rooms, and more hands-on classes. If you go down either of the two staircases, you'll be able to reach the front entrance. I'm not lost yet. New school year, sure are rough. New teachers, new classmates. It's exhausting having to start over every year. Yeah. If you try to leave, uh, no. no. All right, let's go. Gossip. Oh, did you just transfer to our school? Right, well, just so you know, the only person I'm interested in, in is Kirijo Senpai. He looks so stunning at today's welcoming ceremony, too. Fair. Good grief. Just because it's a new school year doesn't mean the students should be running wild. It's up to me to enforce order. That is, once I officially become a member of the disciplinary you committee. So? You're making such a sour face again, Odagiri Kohn. I guess some things never change. Did you hear? The new transfer student's gonna be in 2F. 
Oh my gosh, what if he turns out to be really cute? Wanna go steal a peek? Oh yeah, apparently he's staying at Iwa Todai Dorm, the one Takiba son is staying at. But isn't it kind of weird to transfer schools as a second year? I wonder if he was a troublemaker at his last school. Ooh, third floor. Yeah. We're gonna bail. Go. Ready to get out of here? Yep. That's right. <laughs> Let's get going. Ooh, the music. Oh, there's uh, Akihiko. Oh, check out the jocks on their run. Say, hey, you thinking about joining a club? Oh, wait. New members gotta wait a while before they can apply. Your stops at Iwa Todai, right? Forms, man. Must be nice. Talk about living life wild and free. <laughs> I love the music. Well, I'm going this way, so see you tomorrow. <laughs> Look how pretty it is. Oh, I can love it. We received a call from this area. Is everything okay? Uh, uh. This again, it's, just, it's the same as the weird syndrome being reported all over the news. The zombie people. It's a kid! Everyone's excited because school's starting, but I really don't care. The news has been really weird lately. I even saw some policemen around earlier. Oh! Guess a new school semester started. I was wondering why I've been seeing so many students around. What was a strange place these days? These kids better prepare themselves for the future. It's another child! My friend has a cat and it's so cute. I'm not allowed to have one though, so I just try to get my fill of cats by looking at strays. Look at these old people. Oh, are you a student from the school around here? Well, you'll be glad to know you can get some quality sushi close by. I make it right here. Drop by sometime if you want. Oh, actually, our shop is still under re renovation. Sorry. We are a bookstore, not a sushi restaurant. I'm sorry. He's always like that. Oh, hello, Shadow. There's so many great shops here. I can't help but swing by. Oh, uh, I'm not here for work right now. I'm not, I'm not slacking off. Are you sure about that? Hello! I want to eat some takoyaki. Huh? Who are you? I'm not allowed to talk to strangers, sorry. <laughs> oh, look at the map! It's Shadow! The one and only! The one and only! <laughs> There are all kinds of shops here at the Iwa Todai Strip Mall. If you're craving delicious food, then head to Wakatsu. Or also Hagakure, a famous ramen restaurant. You can also find dessert here and burgers and... <laughs> sorry, I'm just going on about food, huh? This is eating time. Just kidding. A uniform. You must be a student at Gekokan High. That's nice. Do you live in this dorm? Looks like this Gekokan High went through a rough patch a while back, but it's been rebuilt into such a magnificent building. Oh, never mind me. Enjoy your new school semester this spring. Should I go back to the dorm now? Yes. Since this game is blue, um, Shadow can see blue, so she can just like see the whole game pretty much. Welcome She's back. loving it. How was your first day at school? Not too bad. Yes. I see. Well, don't hesitate to ask your classmates for help if you need it. 
Oh, apologies. I didn't mean to keep you here. You've had a long day, so we'll get some rest. Twenty minutes, and then my food is ready. Oh, welcome back. Oh, hi. What are you doing? Not much. How about you? Um, Just killing time, I guess. We're well, probably pretty tired after your first day, huh? Maybe you should go to bed early. Okay. Okay. All right. Yeah, I made some burritos. I made some steak fajitas yesterday, and the day before I made lasagna. I'm on a roll. Are we on 2F? Oh, yeah. I should go to bed. I'm going out for a bit. Bring you Morgana. Hmm? Have you seen the newspapers lately? There's a lot going on. I know. I know. I've, I've been making food like crazy. I had I made garlic bread with lasagna. Oh, so good. So good. Severe cases of apathy syndrome are suddenly developing in people who showed no symptoms prior. It's been quite a topic of discussion. They say it's due to stress, but Yeah, right. It's got to be them. Otherwise, it's not worth my time. You have a one-track mind. I think I'll just boof my border right okay now. Okay, out there on your own. I'll just move me down. Right now. So that I'm not blocking their face. Don't worry. I'm just getting a little practice. This isn't a game, Akihiko. Or is it? <laughs> I can hear people talking. Have you heard? A rumor about, uh, what was it again? The bathroom? Hold up. That's old news. Besides, it's just a ghost story, not a rumor. You're talking about that one girl, right? The second year? She stopped coming to school and just sits around staring at walls all day long. Whenever her mom tries to talk to her, she only the only thing she says is, it's coming, it's coming. What? Is that really how the story goes? Eh, whatever. Probably all made up anyway. Some disturbing rumors seem to be spreading around the school. First bell rung. I love how when it transitions, okay, time for class. when it transitions, it's like similar to the clock. I love that. Open your textbooks and we'll take a look at the first novel by Zinzo Kasai. Ugh, why him? I've been more interested in Toto Kaniko's work lately. His essays are fantastic and he's also a famous haiku poet. I wonder why all this isn't in the textbook. Well, I guess I'll just bring his book next time. Speaking of haiku, they often use words or phrases related to seasons, but it's easy to get them mixed up. For example, you'd think tasty bamboo shoots and vivid carp streamers would symbolize spring, right? Well, they're actually related to summer. Haiku poets usually refer to seasons based on the lunar calendar, making it fairly complicated. Hey, Yuri, are you listening? Here's a question for you. Oh, God. Among these phrases, a rain of flowers, mystical mirage, and vivid carp streamers, which one symbolizes summer? What? Whoa, whoa, huh? Psst, Makoto, you were listening, right? Linda, brother, I am. Vivid carp streamers. Exactly. Yep, yeah, that's right. So we listen to me after all. By the way, mystical mirage and a rain of flowers represents spring. A mirage is a natural phenomenon that occurs around late March to early June. And a rain of flowers refers to the spring showers around the time cherry blossoms bloom. It's not literally raining flowers. Make sure you remember that. Our next topic is... <laughs> well, you know how much I like to pay attention. Man, you seriously saved my bacon, Makoto. Yuki-kun gave him the answer just now. He must have a good memory or something. I can hear my classmates whispering. I've become slightly more popular. Yay! 
Oh, so nice. It's so different. It's like similar, but different to Persona 5. And I, I really like that. It's cool. Class is ended for today. I should head back to the dorm. Hey, look at Shunpei. The you watch Hodai strip mall is bustling with activity in the afternoon. Evening. Oh, he's back. So this is our new guest. Good evening. My name is Shuji Ikutsuki. I'm the chairman of the board for your school. Ikutsuki. Hard to say, isn't it? That's why I don't like introducing myself. Even I get tongue-tied sometimes. Please, have a seat. I apologize for the confusion regarding your accommodations, but it may take a bit longer before you receive the proper room assignment. Is there anything you'd like to ask? Uh... Why are you here? To welcome you, of course. You don't mind, do you? Speaking of which, Takebakun, have you seen Kirijo-kun by any chance? She's upstairs. As diligent as always, but it couldn't hurt to come down and say hello. <laughs> or what? Is there anything else? Who else lives here? There are only four students in this dorm. You, Takebakun here, Kirijo-kun, and a third year named Akihiko Sanada-kun. I hope you all get along. Akihiko! Do you have another question? <laughs> the other night I saw... You saw... something strange? Like what? <sighs> you were probably just tired. I wouldn't worry about it. Something doesn't seem right. Any other questions? Nah, I'm good. Excellent. Here's to a wonderful school year. Now, if you'll excuse me. I'm sure you're worn out from all these formalities. You may want to consider going to bed early. Everyone's Morgana. As they say, the early bird catches the bookworm. Uh-huh. <laughs> Get it? Bookworm? <laughs> because you're students? Uh -huh. Clever, isn't it? Yep. <laughs> You'll get used to his lame jokes. I guess I'll head back to my room, too. Like the chairman said, you should get some rest. Transferring schools is a real pain when you're not used to it. Good night. Hello there. So, how's he doing? He went to bed a little while ago. He's currently fast asleep. Mr. Chairman, do you think he's... So, all the voice actors are different, but they sound very similar to the old ones. Like, honestly? Ralphs. Well, let's wait and see for now. The dark hour is approaching. Come on, what do you say? I can't leave a pretty girl standing around in the cold like this. Mm, what do you think, Mayumi? I mean, I'm cool with it, but if my parents found out... They don't need to know. Just drop them a text. It'll be fine. Yeah. Okay, let's do it. Uh, this sucks. <laughs> I'm serious! I was scared yeah, shitless! Right. Nice story, though. That was the Bayside Rockers, brought to you by KJ. And that's all for tonight, folks. Tune in again next week, same time, same place. The program you just heard was sponsored by Kirijo Electronics, bringing the future to you. The time is now 12 a.m. Oh, this is cool. That's cool. What's 
happening to me? Okay. Hmm. He's still sleeping. The dark hour occurs every day at 12 midnight. You could say it's the hidden hour. During this time, an ordinary person transmogrifies into a coffin and is oblivious to all that occurs. Then he must be... As you can see, he's retained his human form. He may be asleep, but he's definitely experiencing the dark hour. The only question that remains is whether or not he has the potential. Though come he has all the potential. It, he must. If he didn't, they would have preyed on him by now. Scary. In any case, we should continue to monitor him for a few more days. Yes, sir. I feel kind of bad, though, spying on him like this. I think it's the next night she gets through. She gets through. Oh, that's cool. It's Igor. I'm curious to see what he sounds like. Welcome to the Velvet Room. Is that his OG? My name is Igor. I am delighted to make your acquaintance. It's not quite the OG, but it's similar to the to the original. This is Elizabeth. She's a resident here, like myself. Pleased to meet you. This place exists between dream and reality. Mind and matter. Only those who have signed the contract can enter this place. As a document I signed at the dorm. From now on, you shall be welcome here as a guest in the Velvet Room. You were destined to hone your unique ability, and you will require my assistance to do so. I only ask one thing in return. Ten minutes. I'm so hungry. Abide by your contract and assume full responsibility for the choices you make. All right. Hold on to this. Velvet key. Until we meet again. Oh, it's 2009. I just saw that. But Makoto has like a fancy freaking like MP3 looking player. Feels like I had a strange dream. So it's time to go to school. Morning. Yo, I'm so sleepy today. In times like this, in times like these, the best course of action is to sleep during class. That adrenaline rush when you get from dozing off right in front of the teacher can really spice up your dreams. I'll sleep in class. Oh, you think so? Well, you take studying pretty seriously, huh? But it takes real courage to sleep in class, you know? Then again, since I'm not listening to the lecture, I'm pretty much screwed later. Oh, but we have classic literature today. That means we're stuck with Mr. Nasty, Ol' Lakota. Now, moving on. I'm Mr. Ikoda. I'll be your classic literature teacher. We'll be learning all about good old Japan through some truly great stories. Exciting, right? Now, some people say classic lit isn't relevant it anymore, but oh, are they wrong? The students, the other teachers, they don't know what they're talking about. Nobody really understands it like they should. I'm feeling sleepy. Should I close my eyes for a few minutes? No. Good grief. Hey, are you even listening to me? Let's wake up, shall we, children? Now open your textbooks. First on our syllabus is Issei Monogatari. I probably said that so wrong. <laughs> the origin of Japanese literature. It's a very interesting story. You youngsters might even call it the bomb. 
Uh, I can tell you people are zoning out on me. I forced myself to stay awake and listen to the lecture. Want to stop somewhere on the way home? Where? I don't know. Maybe grab a bite to eat? That's right. You're new around here. No worries. I'll show you. It's just around the corner from here. Let's go. Okay. Ah! This is Polonia Mall. Ten minutes. Three minutes! <laughs> Three minutes! Whenever I hang out with the guys from school, we end up coming here. There's a karaoke box, an arcade. Oh yeah, you can rent out CDs too. Karaoke! Then there's that club over there. Not that I've ever gotten it myself. It looks so pretty. Oh. Oh, look at the little this place deck press. Look like much, but I'm not complaining. Let's check out the CDs. Hug my heart. Oh, whoa, that's new. I gotta try this. Let me show you my mad crane game skills. That new thing we can do? Ah, damn it! Oh, come on, man. I am not leaving empty-handed. Dude, I'm gonna look from the side. Yeah, that's it, yo. <laughs> one more try. Just one more. I hung out with Junpei for a while before heading back to the door. So I guess we did beat. Welcome back. You're pretty late. I don't mean to be overbearing, but please don't make this a regular occurrence. Well, in any case, you look quite tired. Why don't you go to bed early tonight? Or how about you let me uh, mm, stay awake? By the way, I guess there was a dorm mother here once who cooked and stuff, but it's just the students now. But that's why we have such a nice kitchen. Seems like a waste not to use it. <laughs> yeah, it does. Yeah, I don't know that I'd really be able to make good use of it though. And Kirijo Senpai doesn't do stuff like cooking, but I would feel kind of bad if no one ever used it. Do we need to cook? Oh, right. I must say, the moon looked quite stunning on this hazy spring night. Though tempting as it may to spend a night such as this gazing at the sky, I suggest you head to bed early and get some rest. Don't worry, there'll be more full moons. Okay. Like, I know I can fast travel, but like right now, I don't want to. It's just, it's so pretty. I feel exhausted. Maybe it's because I haven't gotten used to living here. So who was that old man from the dream I had last night? And what was that contract all about? Look at that. Bad cheats. Ah, oh, I love that. That's so cool. How is he? Looks like he's a little worn out. He went to bed without changing out of his uniform. Other than that, nothing has changed since last night. Hmm. Very interesting. Even those who have the potential tend to be unstable at first. Memory loss, disorientation. This subject is rather... unique. He hasn't exhibited any of the common symptoms. But we're treating him like a guinea pig. Oh, don't look at it like that. The two of you are classmates, right? My food is done, so I will be back in a little bit. But I'm starving, so <laughs> I will be back soon. Hello, hello. I am back and full and satisfied. My food was delicious. 
Geladas are always good. Consider it an opportunity to have someone your own age here. Besides, we need all the help we can get. I guess that's true, but still... Command room speaking. Akihiko, what's wrong? <laughs> You're not gonna believe it. This thing is huge. Unfortunately, it's chasing after me right now. I'm almost back. Just letting you know in advance. Does that mean he's bringing that thing here? Mr. Chairman, that's enough observation for now. We need to prepare for combat. Uh, right. Be careful. Akihiko! <laughs> <laughs> I'm all right. Get ready to be surprised. It'll be here any second. This is no time to joke around. Is it one of them, Sanada-kun? Yeah, but not an ordinary one. <clears throat> Chairman, please head for the command room. Takeba, go upstairs and wake him up. Then escape out the back. But what about you two? We'll stop it here. You're the one who led it to us, Akihiko. So I'm going to have you fight. It's not like I asked it to follow me. What are you waiting for, Takeba? Go! Uh, okay. <clears throat> A loud noise woke me up. I should check what's happening outside. There's no time to explain. We have to get out of here now. What's going on? Hurry! To the first floor! We'll leave through the back. Oh wait! Take this just in case. Short sword. Okay, <laughs> let's go. I'm excited. See how this this turns out. All right, we should be safe now. Takeba, do you read me? Y yes, I hear you. Be careful. There appears to be more than one enemy. The primary one's lurking somewhere nearby. What? What are we gonna do? It's at the front door! Should we go upstairs for now? Let's go! I have to get to safety! <clears throat> <sighs> oh, jeez! <laughs> Their breath scared me! <laughs> mm. It's getting closer! We need to calm down. Gonna be okay. Getting to safety is our priority now. <clears throat> we gotta go up second floor. Sorry. I know this was uh, sudden anywhere sleeping. I promise I'll explain later. Be sure that's what that said. <clears throat> I was expecting her to talk.
It's here. <laughs> Wait. So cool. I am thou. Thou art I. From the sea of thy soul I come. I am Orpheus. Master of strengths. Let's fight. I don't know what that means. <clears throat> what on earth was that? to protect her. Let's go! Those shadows. Did they break off from that other one? <clears throat> oh, that's so cool. Yeah, miss me. The monsters are gone. Consciousness after awakening to your power. Ooh, I see that it was Orpheus who heeded your call. Very interesting. That was the power of Persona, the manifestation of your psyche. <clears throat> persona? <clears throat> a persona is a facet of your personality that surfaces as you react to external stimuli. 
You can think of it as a mask that protects you as you brave many hardships. <laughs> a mask? The power of a persona is the power of one's soul. And the soul is fueled by the depth of one's bonds. As you form these bonds by becoming involved with others, your own social links will gradually develop. The strength of these social links will foster the growth of your persona abilities. Please remember this. Now, time marches on in your world. I shouldn't keep you here any longer. Next time we meet, you will <coughs> come here of your own accord. Oh. Until then, farewell. Farewell. Till next time. My head is getting clearer. I can feel someone's presence beside me. You're awake. How do you feel? Where am I? Thank goodness you finally woke up. Oh, this is Tatsumi Memorial Hospital. It's just a short walk from the station. The doctor couldn't find anything wrong. He said you were just exhausted. Hey, um, I'm sorry I wasn't helpful at all back there. But wow, that power of yours was really something. What were those things? You mean the shadows? They're what we're fighting against. And that power you used, we call it Persona. Don't worry, we'll explain everything later. I'm sorry I didn't tell you before. I, uh, I wanted to tell you something. I okay. can kind of relate. To you, I mean. What do you mean? My dad died in an accident when I was little, and my mom and I aren't exactly on good terms. You're all alone too, aren't you? To be honest, I already heard about your past, but it didn't seem fair, so I wanted you to know about mine too. This was a while ago, but there was a big explosion in the area. Supposedly, my dad died in the blast, but nobody really knows what happened. At the time, he was working in a lab run by the Kirijo group, so I'm hoping if I stick around long enough, I'll find out more about it. That's why I'm going to Gekukon High, and why I was there when this happened to you. Not that I was much help. I kind of panicked. That was my first time facing them, too. Sorry. You wouldn't have to go through all this if I weren't such a coward. It's not your fault. Thanks. Sorry for telling you all this the minute you opened your eyes. While I was waiting, I thought to myself, I've been hiding so many things from him. As soon as he wakes up, I'll tell him the truth. So thanks for listening. I've been wanting to share that story with someone for a long time. I'm gonna get going. I'll let the others know you're okay. They said you could leave once you regain consciousness. So I think you're free to go home. See you! Bye! <clears throat> oh, welcome back! I gotta say, I'm so relieved now that you're out of the hospital. Don't push yourself though. Do you want to get some rest or your room safe now? Well, oh, we can dash. Look at us go. <laughs> this is where we're going to stop for now. So thank you so much for watching. Till next time.